so people, this is a uterus with the associated um, fallopian tubes. Let's look at, um, let's look at an isolated uterus, okay? And once again, we've basically made a longitudinal cut in this structure. And this region is the cervix, right? We talked about the cervix. We talked about the fundus being the domed portion, and then the body, okay, which constitutes the vast majority of the uterus. And obviously this is the uterine cavity, right? So where we have the, um, the ovaries, so the ovaries are enmeshed in connective tissue. So where we have the ovaries attached are the ovarian ligaments, right? So we see an ovarian ligament right here. Here's my ovary. And at the distal portion, here is the suspensory ligament. And within the suspensory ligament, we have the ovarian artery and vein, okay? So let's look at this isolated specimen, okay? And again, to give you an idea of what we're looking at, okay? So what I want to show you is that, once again, this would be the um, a uterine tube. So here's the isthmus. Right here is the, um, the ampulla, the infundibulum with the fimbriae. You can see that we can identify the cervix right here, and that is the um, external os, the opening. Now, this is part of the vaginal canal. And remember, the vaginal canal um, basically um, goes around, wraps around the sides of the cervix. So this would be the fornix. Okay, we talk about these fornices that exist. So the fornix is the space between the vaginal wall and the cervix. So right here that this would be the hood, the hood or prepuce which covers the clitoris. Okay, so um, again where would the clitoris be, you see the tip or the glands of the clitoris right here. And we have other specimens to look at this in more detail, but this is the clitoris, the prepuce or the hood. And again, if we look um, deeper into the, um, the vestibule, okay, so remember the vestibule is a space between the inner lips. And you can readily identify the vaginal opening or the orifice.